questions when it comes to who will be the U.S. number nine. No question when it comes to who is the United States' best player, Herc. It is no doubt Christian Pulisic, who just keeps lighting it up for AC Milan. He scored again, this time on Friday, as Milan beat Lecce in Serie A action 3 to nothing. It's a goal now in five straight games across all competitions for Christian Pulisic, a career best for his season. He's got seven goal contributions in seven games across all comps, five goals, two assists. And that hot streak has led to some interest. We got reports linking Pulisic, Kirk, with a return to the Premier League and Liverpool as a potential long-term replacement for Mo Salah. Do you like the idea? Do you love the idea? Do you hate the idea? All right. I don't hate it. And I understand it's Liverpool. And I'm not going to get in here and to have an open discussion about which team is bigger, whether it's Liverpool or AC Milan. I happen to think Milan's a very good institution. And, and I, regardless of what people think Serie A is or the Premier League is today, Milan is one of those teams that the brand is notorious. It's notable anywhere you go. So it's a massive club. And he's finally found a place where he's valued. He's finally found a place where it doesn't matter who the coach is, he feels comfortable in, in multiple positions. I wouldn't just jeopardize that for a move back to the Premier League. And I understand Liverpool's a big club. Sure, sure it is. But by no stretch of the imagination would I go out there and say it's a much bigger club than AC Milan. I like the fact that he's found a place where he's thriving. I like the fact that he feels comfortable in a setup and he's the man there. And they think of him as a leader. They think of him as an important piece to that puzzle right there. So I don't want him going anywhere. I finally found a Christian Pulisic that is doing well at the club level. And I do think those performances are going to translate at the international level. So I'd like for him to stay. I understand the glitz and the glamour of the Premier League, but I don't think you jeopardize that Certainly not if you're at a place like AC Milan just to test the waters at the Premier League. Now, if he's got that spinita, if he has that maybe doubt that things didn't go well for him the first go around in Chelsea and he wants to do well again in the Premier League because he had his go, the lockdown uh, Pulisic era, if he wants to go that route, that would be something. But you finally found a place that you're good at. You don't need to prove anything to anybody. Keep doing what you're doing and those good performances at the Serie A level, the Champions League level, and at the international level will come. But certainly, if you think Liverpool and the enticement of the Premier League is still something that you'd like to conquer, then by all means. But I think he's fine where he is. Yeah, he doesn't need to leave Milan. And could you imagine the pressure following Mo Salah being the guy with the replacement tag of being Mo Salah's replacement at Liverpool? He went to Chelsea. He had that big price tag, man. That was... That was a lot of money, Herc, and that was a lot of pressure. And we know it didn't work out at Chelsea. Maybe not because Christian Pulisic wasn't built for the Premier League. Maybe not because he wasn't built for a club like Chelsea, but it didn't work out. And to your point, man, he's having such a, a great moment here with AC Milan. You would just hate to see him kind of whisk that away. There is the temptation, I think, to see him maybe paired with Luis Diaz. Could you imagine the the one-on-one -on -one combination of those two guys on the wings? That would be very dangerous for Liverpool. But I just can't get over the fact that the pressure would be immense replacing a club legend like that. It wouldn't be very pretty. And, and I just don't think at this point, with the few Americans that you've got really on big clubs contributing, that you need to move the one guy who's truly doing it on a week in and week out basis. Yeah. It just does, doesn't seem like no. a, uh, if a memory, smart idea. If memory Plus, serves you don't want a guy right. to be a, a club hopper, right? Like at some point. For everybody's yeah. career, settling is good. Settling yeah. down. Not necessarily settling, well, but settling down. Having a place all, that you can call home. With all due respect, you don't just leave a club like AC Milan for any club. Um, and listen, just because things didn't go well at Chelsea doesn't mean they won't go well elsewhere. That same player you're talking about, Mohamed Salah, it didn't go well for him at Chelsea. Kevin De Bruyne mm -hmm. didn't go well for him at Chelsea. Lukaku didn't go well for him at Chelsea. There are a lot of players that it didn't go well there and have found themselves in great circumstances elsewhere. So certainly he's in a good uh, pool. He's in a good atmosphere. He's in a good team. He's got the opportunity to do great things at Milan to keep that going. I wouldn't jeopardize it just for any move. I don't think money's an issue for Christian Pulisic, and I don't think he really has that in the back of his mind, like, I need to go back to the Premier League and do this. So I think he's in a good place. There you go. So uh, Christian Pulisic 
in the moment, right now, as we speak, an AC Milan player. And they got a big game coming up tomorrow in the Champions League, Herc, uh, taking on Bayer Leverkusen. Quickly, how do you think that game will go? Very specifically for Christian Pulisic, do you think he can make it six in a row? Right now at ESPN Bet, he is plus 320 as your anytime goal scorer. Depends where he plays, what part of the field he plays on. He plays on the wing. You might be thinking he, you know, lines up against uh, Grimaldo. That could be interesting. Certainly, Leverkusen is a team that will attack you, uh, will hold on to the ball, will play high. So that could be an opportunity for Christian Pulisic at pace in transition to hurt teams in the same way he's been hurting them for quite some time, in the same way he hurt Liverpool. This can go well for Christian Pulisic. Yes. Can it go bad for AC Milan? Also, yes. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Leverkusen's a very well-worked team. They're a team that when they smell blood, uh, there's no going back. And this could get ugly. I don't think um, it has the potential to be a, a massive AC Milan, you know, statement game. You never know. I don't think it's going to be that. I think it might have the potential to be a, a Leverkusen statement game, if you will. And uh, I don't think by any means it'll be uh, easy for, for Christian Pulisic or AC Milan. But I do think if there's anybody that can hurt him, or, or one of the players that can hurt him for Milan in this game is going to be Christian Pulisic. Uh, that wing play uh, for Leverkusen, uh, they do very well, and they create lots of goals, and that's why their you know, fullbacks are goal scorers. But also, you know, they give up goals there, uh, and they're prone to that. So that's why I think Christian Pulisic and company can take advantage of that. Desperate times a bit for AC Milan, too, in the new Champions League format. You see it right there, 29th in the table after that 3-1 defeat against Liverpool in the opener. So they could use the victory against Bayer Leverkusen.